Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Walker B Ranch. Probably going to uh, do some inspections today. Um, it is right now, it's supposed to get up to 65 today, and then the temperature is supposed to drop back down. So I'm going to uh, break into some hives, see what I've got, maybe pull some of this excess honey that I have on these hives um, because there's, I don't believe they'll go through it. And uh, we'll take that inside and get it warmed up and see how it goes. Just a quick update on the uh, um, on the eco wood treatment. I've actually got some more coming because somehow my bucket that had the eco wood treatment in it got dumped over and the lid cracked and it ran out, so wasted. So gonna have to do some new. But uh, as you can see, the eco wood boxes are graying up nicely they've been out here for i don't know a week and a half um i built a bunch of just to show you the the difference oh, let me throw this up here in the boxes um you can see they're quite a bit darker than um what i've got there uh built 50 medium honey supers yesterday so that's coming along just trying to get my spring prep done uh, so I have everything I need I know I probably won't use 50 supers but um, but I have extra if I need them now um, which I didn't have before so again give you a little bit closer untreated with eco wood and treat it with eco wood you can uh, kind of see the difference and we'll, we'll keep you posted as it goes along to see how it does veil on they're quite active today um, getting out it's been cold the last few days so they're doing the uh, cleanup and and coming out I noticed um, this hive has some dead bees on it and also pulling out brood um, if it's like the other hive it was drone brood that they were pulling out actually this is that hive believe it or not uh, it was drone brood that they're pulling out um, this one had a little bit on it so we're gonna get into a few today and check them out I'll let you guys know if I see anything crazy going on um, but right now they're flying getting out relieving themselves um, you can see right here this hives pulling out drone brood as well there's a big pile of bees where they've pulled dead bees out there. Um, I'm going to check in this hive too. They've got a little bit of pollen going on. I just set this here and let you guys watch for a minute. This, this hive typically is not the most nice hive to me. Uh, got some nice, uh, they've propolized around pretty nicely. This is actually a, uh, not a guardian, but uh, yeah, they're starting to heat up a little bit in here. Um, this is one of those Saracel feeder trim rings here. I'm just going to set that off to the side. It gives me somewhere to set my boxes. Um, they are doing pretty good on the, uh, the sugar. I put a lot of sugar in here. Before the uh, season ended, this was a really strong colony. And I might... There's the hive beetle. We'll go ahead and take care of that now. Um, this one does have a guardian hive entrance on it, and it still does get beetles. Um, and it could just be... Um, it's got older bottom boxes that could 
could be uh, could be hard on it to to deal with I don't know so I'm just gonna work down and uh, take this whole sugar right off the top here because that's a pretty light box it's just a feeder box so I'll set that off to the side um, really nothing going on to the side they're right here on these two frames right here in the middle so I'm just gonna pull one of these outside frames here try to um, to make some room ah, it have come out yep nothing on that frame so should have brought my wax block but really nothing on the side just extra space which a lot of times I will take the um, I'll take comb out that doesn't have anything in it so the beetles can't get in it um, there actually is some comb on this one and this I haven't been into this hive yeah, that's just some some comb. Uh, it's basically drone cell size, as you can tell by how big it is. So it might have had honey in it at one time, but the cells are too large for them to lay worker comb in. So they'll just use this for drones. Now, this next frame was a black plastic foundation that one side has been drawn in one side they actually started doing crazy comb on it um, which I don't like right so they've got they built up that's worker cells there and it actually has some eggs in it so I won't tear it down right now um, and you can see right there some larva in there uh, right in here white larva um, actually hold on so they've kind of crazy comb that out so I will take that out at a later time but on the other side they haven't done anything it's just wax uh, there's a hive beetle you see it right right here I'm trying to pass to the other side but they move kind of slow when it's cold so it's easier to smush them easier to smush them out so we're just gonna move that this is the upper brood chamber the bottom one this actually has a good bit of brood on this one um, Not a lot of, uh, there's a lot of propolis in here. I'm trying not to smush bees and break frames, but that they don't like that pot for anything. Let's see what we got here. They got syrup stored down here, honey around the outside. Um, lots of oh look there's the queen right here nice looking queen right here she's looking good she's laying this up um, brood on the other side so the queen has moved to the top box there's a drone so there is a few drones in there this time of year I guess and uh, I will put that one back in with the queen and uh, check this other frame so this has been a good hive um, for me good colony um, there's been brood hatching uh, I just saw something go down in the cell. 
Um, but they're doing a fine job. This one actually is my only hive that has a screen bottom board on it, and it's not closed up. Um, and it's doing fairly well. And, uh, and a little bit of brood on this hatching out. So the queen's doing a good job. Uh, I saw that one drone. The next frame is quite interesting right now to me. Let me put this one back in. Um, show you they will grow as needed. Look at that, that's brand new comb. It's in January. And that's worker cell. Compared to the first one that I pulled out, uh, that was drone cell. So this is brand new uh, comb they're drawing out. And there's a beetle. I don't know if you see the beetle right there. Right in between, it's going down in the cells. There's a couple of them in here. Um, trying not to damage the wax. There's one, two, three beetles that I see. Um, but we might have to, might have to go ahead and crush them, get them out of the hive. And see, they just walk right along. And we're gonna smash that one. So there are several, uh, not several, I've seen, what, three beetles, I think. John, Paul, and Ringo made it to the hive. And there's another one that's down in here that I'm gonna squish with the wax right there. Take, take them out. So they are, they're filling it full. Looks like pollen sub in there and uh, making new comb which is all worker cell. So they're making room for the queen. And keep in mind, this is the top box, the upper box. Um, so they're doing, doing a good job right now. And what I'm gonna do is check the lower box. Mash. All right, I'm gonna tilt it down so we can look in the bottom together. Um, let me see what I've got here, the one with the sugar on it. We'll set that a little bit off to the side and then we'll pop, I'll pop this bigger box and see what we got in the bottom. If it's, there we go. It's not too badly propolized. Um, and we'll see. So there's the majority of the cluster. You can see they've kind of clogged up the little beetle trap. And this, these beetle traps, I'm not a big fan of, to be honest with you, um, because hopefully, let me just show a little bit. So these beetle traps, if they don't get down all the way in, you've got this gap and the beetles just run along the bottom of it. Um, and they looks like they've got it filled pretty good with debris. So there are a few beetles in there, but it's full of a lot of debris. So that's, and believe it or not, look at that. There's a bee. I don't know. That's the first time I've ever seen a bee inside of a beetle trap, but it got in there. And I just got stung through my glove. New gloves. And we're going to, we're going to see what we got here. Take this one out. They're really not fans of us getting in into the brood chamber, are they? This one just has a little tiny bit of comb on it. Nice, pretty comb though. So we'll see, uh, just set that off to the side. Uh, what's in the bottom? Uh, that's interesting. Um, like I said, this is the only one that I, that I run a screen bottom on. It was an old, when I first started, an old box. There's some stores, uh, pollen in there. Um, that's about it on that one. So we'll, 
move that out here. Push it back in. A lot of propolis. They've got this thing propolized. Plastic frame, nothing on it. So I'm gonna take that out. They're definitely moving up towards the top. Trying to get a really good feel of how this colony's doing. I just oxalic acided them all. So they've got pollen or pollen sub in here really well. Uh, right through there. Right in here. There's a lot of it. And they are bringing in some pollens. So there is some, some stuff going on. Um, this side, pretty empty. Pretty empty right there. Lots of drone brood. Um, let me set this one back in. They're probably a little testy because they're queens in that other box right now. And I'm ripping them apart here. So, and the pop of the propolis really gets them kind of excited. Probably should have brought the smoker out. One just got me through a hoodie, y'all. Right there through my hoodie. Got me on the arm. So, really not happy with me being in here. Let's see what we got. All right. We got drone, brood, and regular brood. Got the drone brood over here. It's looking pretty, pretty good. And some drone brood on that side and some regular brood. Capped, uncapped, all cells, all stages right there. And same thing on this side, bunch of drone brood. So they're getting ready. Put that one right back in. So she's basically working the center of the hive straight up and down. Sorry, girls, come on, give me a break. I'm trying to help you all out. They're not appreciating me right now at all. You can see they're really ramped up. So this might be an abbreviated, an abbreviated inspection. Lots of brood, lots of drones. There's a drone right there, y'all. So we already have drones in this hive. Um, so they'll be mature quick. So early season swarms and whatnot, they're starting to get droned up. Just make sure they haven't started popping any cells on here, which they have a lot of room. Um, so they're probably good right now, but there is a lot of uh, activity going on in this colony. Just every time you pop the pop it, they they get a little excited. Which I understand. I would too, ladies. I would too. Bunch of brood. So this colony has brood. Probably about five, six frames, seven frames of brood that I can see. Looking down at the other one, both sides drones uh, and drone brood emerging. Um, so yeah, try to be as gentle as I can. Um, and again, this one just has the, uh, screen bottom. There we go. Make them a little angrier. That's what we need to do. one getting me on my ankle the drones stores
real got me down pretty good. Through my socks. Uh, this next frame. Let's see what we have here. Besides angry bees. Got some honey, more brood, bunches of pollen slammed in there. So yeah, they're doing fantastic. The last frame is just capped honey back here. Uh, I'll show you all that. Now that I've totally basically wrecked them. So we got some capped over here. It's not all the way totally a capped, I guess. Um, looks like they got a beetle wrangled back in here. Um, but really, overall, um, they're doing pretty good with the beetles. If I could just get this one to walk up. There we go. Oh, still missed it. Got it that time. Crushed it. All right, guys. Um, since I sometimes get these frames that have nothing going on with them, I like to keep a a block of honey or beeswax with me. Sorry, honey. And uh, what I do is I just grab the frame and just rub it on there liberally. Because obviously they've chewed it all off of here. And usually I keep one of these in the pocket of my bee suit, but I don't have a bee suit on today. I just have a veil and a hoodie. And, and I just try to coat it like this, just rubbing it on. good as I can and let them go back to work on it because they really don't like it when it don't have any wax on it but yet they'll chew the wax off of it and hopefully I can get them to like this stuff because I just bought a bunch of these frames <laughs> a bunch of plastic frames um, so I'm just gonna give them as much as I can on here wax wise around the bottoms especially in the sides and over on this side and I'll just flip it around and do the other side but this is a pretty healthy colony from what I see if I knew if I if I thought it was gonna stay warm would work work on doing something more with this hive but I really hadn't been in this hive and I saw all those dead bees out front and I wanted to check check in on them and uh, see how they were doing and it's supposed to get to the 60s 65 it's like 56 57 right now yet I'm sweating And I'm just literally just coating this. And they might chew it all off, who knows? It's possible. But I will move this in here because there's plenty of bees that need something to do, I guess. And I'm gonna pop this back in the middle. Start moving this over one frame at a time trying to give the girls enough room if this was the summer i would do the whole stack but with all this propolis it's uh kind of hard to move all of it but this is a really nice looking colony right now probably stronger than the one I've got on the other side I did in the last video that was long and we're gonna get this back 
get them. And this is that new comb they were drawing, so I'm just going to stick that. I'm actually going to stick it in, in the middle. I don't like to really switch the order on them, but that one's pretty much just got honey in it. So we'll stick this back here and let them uh, continue to work. Work on that if I can get it worked out here where I can get the frame back in. There we go. That'll work on that side. this side. Let's try the other one. Didn't quite push it far enough probably. And the propolis grabs it. Probably the next time I come into this hive, I will in fact scrape some of these frames of propolis. There's so much on there. So, not bad. Not a bad colony at all. Um, I am going to change something up with it. Um, I'm not going to put that top box back on. I'm going to actually uh, um, put this ring back that I had on here. I'm going to move the camera a little bit. Actually, I'll take the ring off so you can see what I'm doing. And uh, I'm going to move the stuff I had on this top box that's really not even being utilized other than the sugar. Um, so I'm going to take the sugar, put it right over them, right there. Going to take the also going to take that taking all the sugar and pollen sub I'm going to put that right here on on the top for them give them the opportunity to get to it this other box isn't doing them doing anything except for uh, probably just giving them more space to guard at this point and condense them down a little bit take out just give them some uh, some of the sugar back Let's see I will check this top box just give them give them what they can take care of and I will check it I probably should have checked the, the top box first because uh, no telling it could have uh, beetles I'm actually pulling off the uh, Swiffer right now um, and what I'm going to do is just take this pollen off, try to give them as much of it back as I can, and just let them work it. Let's take that piece of trash out of there, and I will see what they've got in this other box. Might just be a matter of shaking a few bees. Oh, well, they do have a little tiny bit of honey. Again, I didn't pull it all pull it all off of them. All right, get out of there. You don't get none of that right now. And uh, I'm gonna move. Just gonna knock some of the bees off of here and make sure there's no uh, really nothing going on with this. They're actually 
not really working too much with it. Just, I don't see any brand new comb or anything. Sacrifice to be with a beetle. I'm gonna sacrifice. And I'll clean this box up. There's just not much for him to, to do up here. And it's probably just keeping them busier than working on stuff they don't need, right? Now that the uh, very little bits of honey left in this in this box, but Just gonna move this. It's just I don't want it to become a beetle factory because I'm noticing some of these frames I'm pulling off. It, this, see, just a little bit of comb. Nothing. There's no larva or anything up here, but there are beetles, and we're gonna take care of them by getting rid of them, giving the bees less space to. Uh, deal with and we'll just scrape them down come on lady get out of there. there you go back in the hive with you and here's beetle beetles plural so any beekeepers in South Carolina you know about them beetles. Mm -hmm. I watched a uh, Doug and Stacy video, and uh, their doctor, uh, I forget his name, Dr. Something, he, uh, he had hive beetles all in their hive and just let them go, let them do their thing. And he's like, well, if the colony's strong, it'll take care of the beetles, maybe in Missouri. Here they will flat leave you. The bees will leave you. Which, the last video I had, they did have a hive abscond. And, uh, he didn't have a good, uh, good explanation for it. In my humble opinion, I mean, I'm not a doctor of beekeeping, but, uh, I did play one on YouTube. Just kidding. That's a joke. Bad joke at that. But it is. There is a very little bit of stores um, in this top box. Um, but it is what it is. I'm just going to scrape down some of this propolis and get it back in there. And yes, I know, before anybody says it on YouTube, boy, you're in that box a long time. It's open a long time. You're right, it is, but it's one time, one long time after a long time of not being in here as compared to several 15 minute, you know, inspections or 20 minute inspections and they've actually calmed down um, since I put the box back, the queens back in there and they're much happier, but you can see where they've eaten the wax off around here. And they've moved it. All right, so this box is now officially clean. Um, I'm just gonna 
knock down some of this gunk off of the frame while I'm cleaning it up. And we'll throw that back on there and give it a little shake. All right, so they're one, one medium lighter now. And I'll take that and put it on my truck and and hopefully the bees will get out. All right. One done.